Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com, Tuesday, January 25th, 2022. Coming to you about 12 hours later than normal. I'm going to talk about a late West Coast Pac-12 basketball game in just a moment. But I wanted to do this late afternoon because I want everybody, even those who aren't awake and watching the videos when I do them overnight, to be able to be part of what I'm going to do, which is going to be an interactive experience for you and for me. And what we're going to do is, if you would put in the comment section things you'd like to hear me talk about, whether it be my career in this business, which I've been doing since I was 22 years old in the late 80s, my entire adult life. Got in Vegas in 1984 when I was 17 years old. We can talk about what Vegas was like in the 80s in the sports betting business and beyond. Uh, I did the Stardust Line radio show live from the Stardust Race and Sportsbook from 1991 through 96. We can talk about the experiences of being in Vegas in that era, the old boy network. We can talk about the guests who we had on back then. And also uh, about handicapping strategies. You know, I still use a few things from the past, uh, but I've incorporated a lot of new styles of handicapping over the past five years to 10 years. We can talk about those, what I look for in college and pro basketball, college and pro football, baseball, all that stuff. And again, if you comment below and tell me the things you want to talk about, we will do at least one or two interactive videos per week where we're doing either a live video or a recorded session where I'm answering some of your comments. So I'm looking forward to it. I want to hear what you guys have to say. You know, I, I don't like doing the same old uh, boring videos day after day where here's the promo, here's what I got going, here's my free play, and boom, you're done. I want to get you guys involved, and I'm looking forward to it. So leave those in the comments, your ideas and your thoughts, and we'll answer some of those questions. We'll uh, certainly use those topics for videos, again, once or twice a week and some live videos, too, uh, starting in about a week, and I'll be reading those comments every single day. Here's the thing about today. I do have a, an NBA six-star play going. It tips off at 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 4.30 Pacific. Still time to jump on board if you're watching before the tip of the game. Again, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, 51 and 28, 65%. NBA run up $8,800. Uh, we're on a quest to get to $10,000. We'll see if we can continue that, uh, that, that drive to get to $10,000 tonight with the winner. It's a six-star play, by the way, in the NBA. Let's get to Colorado and Oregon. Oregon laying about eight, eight and a half points. Line's gone up a bit. Still think that Oregon is the play here. Dana Altman's one of my favorite top 10 college basketball coaches over the past decade plus. Loved him at Creighton, loved him at Kansas State before that, and really liked the job he's done at Oregon. His team got off to a 6-6 six and six outright start. They were 50-50 through 12 games. They got blown out in a couple games. BYU kicked the crap out of them. Uh, we saw a couple of bad losses along the way. They're starting to round into form. They've won six in a row. They've beaten USC. They've beaten UCLA. That's what Altman does, man. He gets his team March ready, and he's already starting to do that. Now, tonight, uh, they're hosting Colorado. Oregon, by the way, that offense is getting better and better. They're one of the better uh, teams when it comes to offensive adjusted efficiency. On the flip side, Colorado... You know, a little bit overvalued offensively, a little challenged at times. Uh, they're below 50% with two-point percentage. They're about 200th in the nation in three-point percentage, and I think they're going to have a rough time here. They've only played a couple of true road games. They got blasted by UCLA by 12, by 21 at Arizona. Their only true road game win came against Arizona State. They've now lost two in a row, USC and UCLA, and both of those games came in Boulder. I like Oregon tonight to win this game by a dozen or so. We're going to back Oregon minus the points over Colorado. Colorado. And again, don't forget about those comments. If you post them, I'll talk about them. Handicapping strategies, life in Vegas, what Vegas was like in the late 80s, early 90s when I got into this business. It should be fun. I hope you guys jump on board and take full advantage. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put them in the win column, everybody.